You ever wonder how to bring in multiple cameras into StreamYard connected to the same PC? Uh, StreamYard is such a great tool, uh, but if you are trying to bring in multiple cameras, it seems like you need a machine for each camera. And that's not exactly true. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So stick with us and let's see how it all works. My name is Kirk Nugent and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology and media at home for their families and at work for career success. Some of the tutorials and videos I've done on StreamYard have been really popular and we've been getting a lot of feedback from folks about how to do more things on the platform. So this is our attempt in doing just that. I want to show you a couple different uh, video streams I have connected to my Mac which is what I'm using right now. Uh, so what you're looking at right now is my Canon 60D DSLR, and it is connected directly into Ecamm using the USB. That's a whole nother <laughs> conversation, but uh, th that's what we're looking at right now. This is uh, Logitech C920. It's right here in front of me. It's, uh, it's one of the ones that I use primarily. It's kind of my main rig, <laughs> if you will. Um, uh, this is my wife's webcam. Uh, I don't even know what the brand is. She was just looking for a 1080p capable webcam and, and she got this, so what up? Um, and then this is my daughter's webcam. Uh, it is an HP, it's older. Um, I think we used to use it for like some security stuff, uh, but it works well for her, for her Zoom classes and different things she's doing right now. Everybody's doing something with COVID, right? Um, and so kind of just switching back between them here. Uh, here we go. And this, these are all videos, uh, streams or feeds that are connected to the same machine, my Mac mini here in my office. And so the question then becomes, how do you connect multiple videos to StreamYard? Ecamm does it very well. It just picks them up really easily and you can easily quick click between them. But in StreamYard, you are in a browser and you, know, you, you pull up the browser, you tell it which camera you want to use, and then you're done. Uh, so unless you have a switcher like an A10 Mini, which I do have, uh, which is really good, really cool piece of, of tech, um, something really you know useful to have, uh, or if you have Ecamm going into StreamYard, which is great, but also has its limitations because you got to make sure that the audio and video are synced up right, uh, it becomes a challenge to bring in multiple video feeds from one source, from one computer, from one Mac or PC. Uh, but here's how we can accomplish that um, by doing this one little thing. So here I am um, about to go into StreamYard. Uh, yep, everybody knows this screen well. I'm going into my test room. And what I want to show you is as I go into the test room, as, as I mean, if you're used to using StreamYard, you know this uh, screen very well. Um, I have the Ecamm, I, I, my display name is Ecamm 60D, and the re, there's a reason for that. If I go into Cam Mic, <clears throat> you're gonna see from this drop down list one, two, three, four videos. And as I mentioned, my Canon 60D is connected to um, Ecamm, and so that's the way that StreamYard is seeing my Canon 60D. Otherwise, I'd have to use something like Cam Twist um, with Camera Live. So but I'm not doing that right now. And so actually I'm not going to use the Ecamm uh, camera using the 60D because I'm using it with Ecamm to record right now. So, but I want you to see that all of these are visible to StreamYard for us to see uh, and to use. But now the question becomes, how do we use them? And that is found by looking at the very top of the screen, top of my Google Chrome window. And so, I've got four tabs open across here, and all four of, of them are going into StreamYard, and in, in each one of them, I went into the exact same studio, which is this test room here at the bottom, and I selected a different camera for each of them. Uh, and so all three of those cameras, the three webcams that I showed you earlier, are in the studio, and you can see them all here at the bottom. And I've named them HP Webcam, C920, 
um, G webcam, I just call it generic webcam because at least I know which one it is. And they're all three in the studio right now. Now, one of the things you need to do is if you're gonna do a full screen switch, right? Multi-camera shoot, one subject, you're gonna wanna go to your brand tab, not your settings. You can go to settings as well, but you're gonna wanna go to your brand tab and scroll all the way to the bottom and turn off show display names. You wanna you want to turn off show display names. I've got that turned off right now. And the reason for that is um, I'm using the display name to help me identify what camera it is so it doesn't necessarily depict the person. But I have an overlay on my StreamYard uh, setup right here that does have my name in there as a lower third. It has my website information, uh, howitallworks.com, youtube.com, slash Kirk R. Nugent, which is what you're watching on right now. And then it has my, um, my logo at the top. So now for the part that you're asking about, I've got all three of these added. I've got the three tabs across the top of Chrome. I only need to use one of those tabs. Um, generally speaking, you're gonna wanna mute the other videos and only use the audio from one of the videos. This is just a pro tip. Trust me on this. And make sure that the audio that you have unmuted is the main audio that you want going through StreamYard to your destinations or for your recording. So now what I'm gonna do is add all three of these to uh, the stream. So we've got one added, we've got two added, and now we've got three added. So now what you're seeing is a multi-camera shoot of me. And that's cool, you know, that's, that's cool, uh, but uh, and, and, and if you want to do a multi angle shoot of the same person, that is how you would accomplish it. Connect them all to the machine, add them all into StreamYard on different tabs in Chrome, and then bring them all on screen like this. But for uh, one of the productions I did for a, 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 a high school that we wanted to live stream their commencement ceremony, you know, with COVID and everything, everybody wants to live stream everything these days. I was still able to use StreamYard multiple cameras connected to the same machine but then what i was able to do was use the solo layout button which is which is done by clicking on the the, the uh, little avatar on the top of the mini video feed at the bottom solo layout click on that and of course that gives me a full screen video of this hp webcam which is this cam right here what's up so this is a full screen video my my overlay is on top of the video so if i was the main subject of course it wouldn't be situated this way but if i was the main subject you would have it looking like this and uh you could then switch to the logitech c920 by clicking solo layout on it and i now i'm on this camera and i can say hey what's good what's good uh i'm not really sure why that camera is not moving okay there it goes um uh, then in, if i want to make another switch to yet another angle um i can switch to this other video feed which is uh my wife's webcam and that's that camera up there where i can wave again and say what's good people yeah and so you are essentially um able to mimic a broadcast switcher um, doing a full uh, cut between cameras um, all in the same system. And uh, you can see I'm just kind of going back and forth between them here um, and, and, and able to, uh, you know, basically have a, a really good feed, really good uh, system and stream. Now, my screen recording is not picking up the movements of the cameras as well as i would like it to but i can tell you from experience that the 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 end product what your viewers will see when you do this practice is actually really smooth and it's something that i highly recommend uh so that's it uh if you are interested in how to do an overlay um the way that i have done it here with my name and um my logo in the top right and then my websites on the screen um to kind of give a, a 
a really polished look to your StreamYard video, uh, let me know in the comments and I will try to put together a, a little tutorial on how to do that because um, it's a fairly cool process. So there you have it. Uh, I'm hoping that was helpful and useful to you. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I'll really see some comments here from you guys letting me know that this is something that you are using and that you're interested in more videos like these. Listen, here at How It All Works, um, youtube.com slash Nugent, we are on a mission to reach 1,000 subscribers. That's our first goal. Uh, we have multiple goals, but that is our first one. We're hoping that you will take the journey with us and we're hoping that you will subscribe. And that you would not only subscribe, but you would you'd share some of the videos with friends and hopefully that they would subscribe too. Uh, my name is Kirk Nugent. I'm the geek speaker preacher and I'm hoping that somewhere in the course of this video Somewhere in the course of the tutorial something was shared You know the light bulb went off and you got a little closer to figuring out how it all works. I'll see you in the next video later <laughs>